Hello there. Uh, this is us come back to round two. I was the last match to finish in the last round, so I didn't get uh, a lot of time to scout. Uh, however, I did see in the replay that this guy defeated his round one opponent by raw dogging a green clock all the way. His deck didn't look all that good, but. Um, it's, you know, it could be pretty scary to get grain clocked. Uh, I'm not exactly impressed by his gold mirror. So yeah, I think I'm going to play Trinket Mage because... I'll see, Replica just trades with his gold mirror. I want a little bit more information before uh, using a Galvanic Blast. Because if I'm not really... While it is his only source of white... Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could have prevented that coming down a turn early, but... I'd rather actually use it to kill his guy, you know? So... Okay, I, I'm gonna still uh, abjectly refuse to murder that Goldmer, even though it might come back to haunt me at some point. He has Infiltration Lens in his so far non poisonous deck. Oh, hey, that's a quick, a big Dark Slick Drake. I'm quite happy that he's uh, attacking with it. Now, perhaps now I'm going to go against everything I just said about not killing his goldmer, because uh, I want to start, I'm going to bash him for quite a lot here, and it's going to stop him attacking me, and then going to give me a bit, bit of time to find another artifact. There's a big difference between attacking for 6 and attacking for 2, as it... Uh, That's interesting. Eh? He he did. I'm pretty sure he did play a planes in the the game I saw. So I I think he does actually have some white spells. He may be just splashing red. What's it gonna be? A chimeric mass. That gets pretty large. Now he's on defense. Ah, that's good. That's quite good. Not the best or anything, but I uh, gets the replica in for another three. Flight spell one should be good for getting him in again for another three. You know, in conjunction with the uh, Sertark. Because obviously, jumping a, a replica into a already flying guy isn't the best of plays. So he's he's really under the cosh now. Um, he st he took a really big life swing last time, and I mean obviously he can animate his mass and attack me with it, but I don't need to block or anything. Uh, and Invisimancer is going to take some uh, small chunks out of his life. And he's. I guess he might start attacking me, but uh, it doesn't look like he has too much. Oh, Volition Reigns. I like that. No. I have a couple of options, of course. Uh, I'm definitely not taking his infiltration lens, that would be uh, bad. 
I'm not going to take his mountain, as hilarious as that would be. I'm taking his Dark Slick Drake. Um, gives me a, another evasion creature to go with the Invisimancer. Uh, taking the Strider Harness is blah, not very good. Uh, but I I feel I'm going to take his Chimeric Mass, being a five five, and well, obviously the uh, my equipment, uh, his equipments would also turn on my Metalcraft. Uh, taking his mass to turn on my Metalcraft. Uh, tapping his guy, and then getting in for an extra bunch. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. I'm not going to be doing any of those things. I am just going to be attacking for two. Well, obviously, I could have considered that he had a, a counter spell. I th there's not. I don't feel that not playing it is a good idea there because if he doesn't have it, he's basically just dead. Whereas now, he, even though he did have it, he still only traded one for one, and he didn't really uh, make up any ground on me. So you can sort of pretend he's actually on uh, six, thanks to the replica. So I don't really need to do that much more damage. Oh, Trigon Amending. Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh, obviously, he's got like Throbbing Bird in his deck. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. Let's just uh, stimmy my uh, Invisimancer beat down somewhat. I I regret playing that uh, extra island the turn I made the uh, Volition Reigns because obviously I would have uh, a spare card to discard to Riddle Smith if, assuming I draw an artifact I guess he's trying to get me with a massive attack. Uh, I wouldn't be blocking that even if it didn't have infiltration lens on it. I like that he tapped his mountain, which is kind of tells me he doesn't have um, like a galvanic blast in his hand. A soliton. That guy's pretty reasonable against uh, my plan of sertarking his dudes. Bladed pinions. Well, that's not exactly exactly what I wanted, <laughs> but it is an artifact. So I'm gonna play that to turn on the Sertark. I. It's that's a me ability. There's no point in just randomly milling myself. I guess I might as well tool up um, my replica. I sort of get the impression I just missed lethal on the table there, which is pretty embarrassing. I was just saying, just not thinking that that play through there. So this is uh, this is what ha so this is what happens when I'm not really paying uh, enough attention to look at the board properly and try and talk to people at the same time. If I uh, if I lose horribly to the Soliton Arbalest combo here, it's my own damn fault, as they say. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, I'm going to tap his flying guy for sure. 
See, tapping Soliton would be hilarious. Huh. I guess I'll play this. I get to... Let's see, he's gonna gain 3 life. Now if I attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Seems good enough. Not that my play was good enough, but, uh... Obviously, this can tap his chimeric mass uh, even before he activates it, but I'm just gonna do that. He's gonna gain three life, and then he's gonna take a bunch of damage, and then get replica to death. And I'm gonna dispense some uh, Uh, self face slaps to see if I can get myself concentrating a bit more. 